You know, back in 2017, the end of 2017, um, Helen and me worked on a project um, for the Durham Light Infantry Research and Study Centre for an exhibition, travelling exhibition, and they wanted to use one of my old Whiskey Priest songs from 30 years ago for this exhibition. I said, well, I'll, I'll write you some new songs, which I did, and um, they've finally been released as an EP. It's, tonight is the launch night of my DLI EP with four songs on it. I'll do one or two, I'll do a couple of them now. And it's a kind of precursor to what will be an album called From Coldfield to Battlefield, which tells the story of the Durham Light Infantry, but not in a, not in a kind of, you know, glorification of, of the army or anything like that. More through the personal stories of these normal coal mining working class people who took part in it. Um, so I'll do a couple of songs from that and this first one is actually a personal story about my two great uncles who were colliery bandsmen. One played euphonium and one played cornet and they were called George and Joe Mains and as well as being colliery bandsmen, they were also in the Durham Light Infantry as military bandsmen. And there's a, my father told me an apocryphal tale about them at Dunkirk. Um, he said that they were, they were amongst, because I think it was, was it the 50th Division or whatever it was, was the last group to leave and the Durham Light Infantry was part of that. They were amongst the last to be evacuated. My, my father, told me he reckons they had their instruments with them and they were playing on the beach to sort of help the morale of those that were being uh, rescued. And um, it is apocryphal, I don't know, I, I, I think it's just like, I think it is kind of like my dad just sort of, he's, my dad's not here now to tell us whether it's true or not, but I, I think my dad kind of wanted to believe it. But I thought that's too good as opportunity to pass up for a song, so I wrote a song about that, and it's called the Euphonium and Cornet, you know, like I say, I'm very clever with titles, <laughs> it's about an accord, a Euphonium player and a Cornet player, so I couldn't really call it the bass drum and the snare drum, on. <laughs> Sousaphone. Two brothers in tunics of red, polished buttons and boots, postman's caps on their heads. Hard as nails from the coal fields they came, colliery bandsmen, George and Joe Pairs. Now step forward to soldiers, these khaki clad sons. Wearing Durham light infantry, tin hats and guns But the music proved stronger than bullets or waves As they played their hearts out while an army was saved So strike up the band, let the DLI play The euphonium and cornet will each have their day they're shelling the beaches while the boards fight the spray and the band plays on. Till the last board sails away. Now George was proud of the medals he wore in the street, in the pub. He would fist to the floor Any man daring to mock the vain ways Of this ballless brass bandsman Fearless and brave The Shakespeare's finest band leader jaw When his corner blew All of Brandon would know On the beach at Dunkirk It blew loud and shrill that I Back at home they could hear it still So strike 
I got the band, let the DLI play The Euphonia and Cornet will each have their day When the bell bells will send, but the baron one day But the band played on Till the last boat sailed away Two fathers back home from the war Me the one spark of the horrors they saw This back to the coal fields They carried their fame Into instrument cases Battered and stained Now they've gone from this world And each note that they played On euphonium and cornet has faded away But the trumpets of heaven resound to their name Where the band plays on So strike up the band, let the guardsmen play The euphonium and cornet each had their day When the beaches were shelled When the ports fought the spray And the band played on Till the last boat sailed away Till the last boat sailed away Thank you very much.